Biohazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. What's going on guys, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Sly here and I'm back in the world of The Division to talk about and update some of you on the current state of the game. Now for those of you who haven't noticed, the state of the game is basically like a weekly update. You know, events, fixes, maintenance, that sort of thing. It used to be early Tuesday mornings, but has now moved to Thursday, and with that, so has the server maintenance. Now I live in North Carolina, which is the East Coast, and it starts at 3 a.m. for me, ends around 6 a.m. That's midnight to 3 a.m. West Coast Pacific Time. So with this week's over and done with, I want to try to keep you all, the nation, up to speed on everything The Division related. And you all know, guys, that I love this game, and I myself have some pretty big issues with it and I'm sure most of us do. The division is still young and it is definitely showing but being young means that there is still time to fix this mess that has been brought to a boiling point and with that let's go ahead and hop into it. Now I'm gonna go over most of the key items that were brought up in the stream. As always if you don't believe these blasphemous lips then you can always check it out for yourself on Twitch. It's about like 45 minutes long but I assure you I'm giving you all of the same information. So first up, let's talk about this current server maintenance and the changes or fixes that were implemented this early morning. First up, let's talk about the incursion. Now while it's still not the best activity to run, it is the source for the best gear of the game. As such, if you want to stay up to speed with exploiters and high-end players, you need to run it for that endgame gear. Now, as most of you know, they already rolled out some fixes for the APC, like, you know, the C4 only damage, that was last week. And this week, you can no longer shoot inside Falcon Lost from outside of the map. This should cover the latest exploits and ladder glitches that get players outside of the map to be able to shoot from inside. While there are other ways to get outside of the map, you really can't do anything while you're out there, so that renders it basically useless, well, at least for now. Another fix that goes with this is the ladder jumping jack glitch that allows people to fall through buildings and as I thought would happen, Rogue started hiding in buildings and became an issue so that is now also fixed. Next up let's talk about some of these talents and character perks. First up, one that I am really excited about is that most of you probably have noticed that the armor perk protection from elites basically does jack shit. Well, turns out that it also did not work the way that it was intended. A fix rolled out today that will effectively double your elite protection. As Hamish, one of the community managers, described it, you have if you have 15% protection from elites, you should see a 30% reduction in damage from them. Now, I haven't tried it out yet, and I am eager to hop back in and see what this means for Challenge Mode Falcon Lost. Everything in Challenge Mode, whether it's like missions or the incursion, are elite enemies, and as such, Seeing a reduction in damage should make it much more manageable. I'll report back soon on how effective this really is. So, the final fix implemented was again the perk Rehabilitative. Now, if you remember the mask that could heal you over and over again after stunning yourself with a sticky bomb, well, it was fixed, but not completely. A new glitch with tear gas was found where you could gas yourself, heal, and then walk back into the cloud and it would trigger the same effect. So this has also been addressed and is on top of all the other fixes implemented last week, which were like the double revive, the damage stacking of competent, and a couple small others. So those are the things fixed as of today. Now they go on talking about things that they know are either bugged and they're currently working on, or things that they have a fix for but cannot be deployed until a client-side patch is delivered. A client-side patch is basically a download to the player. They're really talking about the next free update conflict, which is due sometime in May. I hope to know more about that download next week. Alright, well here is a list of small things that they currently have fixes for, but cannot be implemented until the next update. Now most of these are talents or perks, which I'll go over right now, but first, they do have a fix for daily mission rotations. Nothing is really wrong with it, it's just that the algorithm for randomness is kind of jacked up right now. So rewards are not affected, just the randomness of the rotation, that's going to be coming in the next update. So these talents and perks, are they have fixes ready for the talents, one is none, reckless and balanced now maybe i missed something here but i didn't know balanced was glitched i knew it was pretty op but i wasn't really aware something was wrong with it either way one is none is definitely freaking broken now i did a video on this like a month ago and it effectively allows you to never reload on shotguns and give bull and it actually gives you bullets back way way too frequently now reckless is a perk mainly on chest armor that gives you damage bonus of 13 percent extra damage output 
at the cost of taking in 10% more damage. Well, at least that's how it's supposed to work. Right now, in its current state, it gives you the damage buff, but doesn't allow you to take in the 10% more damage. So in its current state, it's pretty freaking OP right now. And the last thing on our list, have you ever tried to join your friends in the incursion only to jump over the barrier, start to climb down the ladder, but then all of a sudden get thrown into a loading screen and repositioned like 10 feet backwards? Well, apparently there is a system in place that is also bugged. First off, you cannot join people in a non-respawn zone. Basically, once the incursion is started, you have to restart the entire process before anyone can join you. So that part is working as intended, although it's not very clear why you are being teleported over and over again. So they're trying to fix that to let players know what's going on. So if that happens, it's because the party leader needs to restart the activity. But the bug part is that if you try to leave the group to start another incursion, some kind of bug travels with you and will constantly reload you over and over even if you are legitimately trying to start a new incursion. The workaround right now is to log off and then hop back on. While it's tedious, it does work and once again a fix will be implemented in the next update. It's best to just avoid it altogether by telling the group leader to restart the event before anyone joins and don't enter the mission just in case. Now there are a few other issues that they mentioned and are awaiting fixes. One of them is the PC chat spam and PC auto aim. They're tweaking the settings to boot people from chat and that will be implemented soon and the PC auto aim is actually not supposed to be there. I guess it's a ghost from the auto aim assist on consoles and it's also being removed so it can't be exploited. And while we're on cheating and exploiting, they did hit on this topic and I was glad to hear it. Cheating and exploiting. Alright, so exploiting is pretty much using bugged game mechanics to gain an unfair advantage, and cheating is exactly what it sounds like. It's cheating. So they're treating the two differently, and the ideal scenario is to not have exploits in the game to allow for cheeses. Cheating, however, they admitted that there are a lot of things ruining the game experience. Now, I don't play on PC, but I have heard that it is an absolute mess. Now, I assure you that getting one shot on the console or melted by someone with full gear score already isn't really that rare of a thing, so we are both impacted by it. But they have a new system implemented, and they are refining the process of cheat detection. They also said that the first wave of bans and sanctions will be handed out very soon. I'll try to let everyone know on Twitter when that will be passed down, but new measures were implemented with the incursion update. Those sanctions will be handed out soon and new measures will be put into place and refined by the time this next update drops. And I'm sure a few weeks of data will be needed to catch them before more sanctions will be handed out. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the state of the game this week. Nothing super solid yet, but it sounds like they are definitely working hard on it. Now, there are so many bugs in Division, they have their work cut out for them. And honestly, if, Div if like Destiny was riddled with this many bugs, it would take them months to fix all of this stuff. So kudos to them for cleaning up the small stuff as it happens. Personally, I still blame them for allowing this stuff to happen in the first place, and seeing that Bullet King picture still pisses me off to this day, but the past is the past. Hopefully we can move on to a brighter future and start again with the deployment of this next update. But that's it, agents. Just wanted to give you guys the 10-minute version of the full stream and also let you all know what is in store for you this week when you hop back on after the server maintenance. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go try out this Elite's damage reduction because Challenge Mode Incursion might be calling my name. But about guys, thanks once again for sticking with the smaller YouTuber. It means the world to me. And as always, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date on everything Destiny, The Division, and new uploads from Sly Nation. I'm out, guys. See you in the next one. And until then, this is your boy Sly. Done. Gone. Out. Zone B secure.